Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutin and today I have for you another brilliant chess game coming from chess history. Hopefully you know this position because this is exciting time of this game. Of course, White was Edward Lasker, one of the strongest and the famous chess player in chess history and you could find on internet too many stories and exciting stories about this player. Black was Sir George Thomas. This game was played on 1911 and white to move is winning and is going to checkmate Black's king in the latest seven coming moves. So my first question to you, do you know this position? If yes, this is amazing joy to remember this position. And if not, never mind. We will see everything since beginning till end. And of course, we will see this variation as well. But for now, feel free and let's count how wide is winning here. And let's have a fun because this is exciting position and you know that's the reason why I believe that this game should be interesting to you. So let's start since beginning till end. This game is not long because has only 18 moves. Edward Lasker is a white and Sir George Thomas is a black. Uh, they are playing Dutch defense and move Bishop G5 is absolutely fine. Bishop E7 maybe is not bad at all, but what is important is important to not speak too much about theory because we are back in 1911, so 112 years is a gap between this game and hmm, our lives and I think that what is great is to remember Edward Lasker as one of the greatest chess players in chess history and I think that both players are are uh, what I mean are I mean that uh, both players are Good to remember. That's my idea. So now, um, why took it on f6? And the reason why he is going to exchange his dark squares bishop is move e4. He believed that if he is active in the center, he is playing good chess. And I agree. I do agree because center is the most important part of our games and the players who get a control in a center has a chance to claim advantage. So okay, uh, black took, white took back and knight on e4 is slight compensation for black's two bishops. I think that uh, here two bishops, black two bishops are not dangerous to white at all, but they are. Uh, chance uh, in the future to be strong. So b6 and bishop d3 and now knight e5. That's a nice um, knight's placement in the center and maybe this is a good position uh, to have the right feeling how center is important. Center is the most important and now two knights, uh, one on e4 and a second on e5 are giving white hope to believe that he got advantage and I agree he got advantage and he's nearly winning that's amazing that I can't understand what's what's wrong happened to black because after short castle queen h5 we are exactly in the main position we are exactly where our famous chess game is starting and now i was asking you if you are able to find why it's a winning continuation here and why it is winning after this beautiful queen sec Queen took on h7 and of course there is no more moves for black just to take queen on h7. Black took on h7 and now it's up to white how he will continue it because if he will not checkmate black's king he is losing because 
He sack his queen and the queen is the strongest piece of our army. So okay, make a sense to take on f6 and that's a double check and double check is a dangerous check for black. Of course, black has only two moves and one of them is losing immediately. Just to go to h8 is checkmate on g6. Okay, I'm going to play this move and knight g6 is a first checkmate threat. So for this reason black has to go forward and he came to h6. Okay, still is, here is a big big question if white is able to checkmate black king because if not he is losing. So what white has to play? And he played knight g4, another check and another nice welcome black king uh, to our party. Because uh, black king has no chance to go to h7 or even to g6, of course not to h5 and only one square where black king should go is of course square g5. So black came to g5 and that's still not end of the story because um, another check is waiting for his unhappy black king on g5 and move h4 is giving black another sad choice. Okay, no moves to g6, h6, h5 and f5 and still only one move here um, is King to f4, uh, g3, and that's a beautiful how black's king is uh, coming, coming from g8 square, from h7, g6, g4, f4 square now to f3. Okay, we are nearly at the end of this famous chess variation. Black's king will be checkmated in next three moves and the last move is one of the most brilliant chess move I ever saw. So hopefully you are enjoying this video and this position of course as well and if yes feel free and press like or press follow and made my day. This is amazing chess position and amazing amazing checkmate. So check on e2 and now nearly for the last time uh, just go with me and check what black should play because uh, no no to g4, uh, no moves to f4, e4 and e3 and again only one move for black king. Everything is working well, everything is doing, um, is making sense and black came to g2. Check on h2 and this is an amazing position, you know, I can't remember since last time I saw black king on g1 and here is waiting for black the last, last move. Uh, maybe long castle is still a winning move but a much more beautiful move is king d2 and uh, this uh, last, last unactive uh, white piece is going to deliver a checkmate to black's king. Wow, that's a position and that's a game. What a checkmate. And if you don't mind, I'm going to play this variation for one more time. So queen h5 with deadly checkmate threat to sacrifice a white queen. It's absolutely hard to see all variations and maybe black was not worried about any white's attack. But that was his biggest mistake and that's the reason why he is losing. But at the end maybe he is winning because, because of this game he is immortal as well. This game is immortal and one of the golden chess games of chess history and uh, let's take on h7, f6, uh, g4, h4, <laughs> g3, e2, h2 and last move is king d2. 
what do you think about this game? I think that this is a beautiful, beautiful game and if you believe that uh, chess is not only sport but art as well, I agree with you. This is amazing picture. So at the end of this video, thank you very much for your likes, follows and comments and I hope I will see you soon in our another YouTube chess video. Take care, enjoy your life, play chess and see you soon. Bye bye.